Indeed, it is rainy. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. You may be seated. And I want to appeal to you too because I have received a lot of email. You say I should not leave my white uh, beard, that I should dye it. Why should I dye my white beard? It's why it's white. I cannot continue to pretend that I'm still younger than this. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's glory of God. I say it's glory of God. I began to discover it when I was actually 50 last uh, some months ago. I said, wow, this is a blessing. It was good. Come, come on, come on. It's free, it's free, it's not dying. This one is free. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wow, I want to salute the, our preacher, the wise, wise man, Christopher. Uh, that is something I just pick out of the message. He said the main thing about Christianity is not the work we do, but the relationship we maintain. Are you not thinking about that? He said the main thing about Christianity, after listening to the message, I said, wow. I said, wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> He said, the main thing about Christianity is not the work we do, but the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by that relationship. Ah, I said, wow. <laughs> you know, there are two things you should take note. The main thing about Christianity is not the work we do, but the relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by that work. So if you now say, oh, I, I'm, I'm like many of us will say, oh, I, I, was once, I was once a smoker, but for the, since I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior, I have stopped smoking. Why not God bless me? No, this, our preacher now is saying, the atmosphere produced. If you say you, you keep a proper relationship, proper relationship will also bring proper atmosphere. It means if your relationship has not give, bring a proper atmosphere, it means that relationship may be a selfish, you know, there are self righteousness. I no, 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 no. I don't want to smoke. Christian say, Christianity, Christian should not smoke. Christian should not drink. Christian should not do it. You stop it. But each time you see cigarettes, you have hush. So no, I don't want to smoke. I don't want to smoke. I'm a Christian. But that hush keep torment you. What guys about that? You are indirectly what? I don't want to smoke. When you go this way, you see people smoking. No, oh, I have a I don't want to smoke. But that will now lead you to smoke in your dream. That is the cause of nightmare we normally have. Okay. No, no, I don't have, I, 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 no, 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 no. As a Christian, I will not drink again. I used to be a drunker, but now Christianity is not right for Christian. You stop drinking after you have received the word of God. But each time you are going, you see that kind of chinap you used to drink. The hodge. I don't want. I don't want. The tea keep disturbing you. I don't want to. No, no. The hodge to drink is still there, but you have saying no. But the hodge. For you to know that the God, the Spirit of God has intervened about the matter. The hodge must also work. You, you have the power to say, I will not smoke again. But you don't have the power to stop the hodge. If you, if you get me, let me see your hand. 
you have the power to, to say, no, I will not smoke again. You have, the power is there. You have your power to say, no, no, I will not smoke again. But you, you don't have that power to stop the hodge in the spirit, in your heart. It's only God can stop the hodge. Hodge for it. That is why you are still wrestling with this. Those things you have stopped are not smoking. I know, did it. I'm not doing that, but you keep having hodge, uh, hodge, and hodge, and hodge. You may remain in that hodge for many years, the hodge will continue. Only God can stop what? The hodge. But you have the power to say, no. You can remain, you can stop that thing for 10 years on your own. But the hodge is still there. One day, if you don't come unto lord in the right direction to stop you to deliver you one day you'll find yourself go back so far the hodge is still there 10 years you may stop it even 20 years you may stop it but so far you have the hodge in your spirit you should do it you'll find yourself in it one day If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. That is the cause of finding yourself doing what you have stopped in the real life. In the real life, you have stopped stealing. You, you, you have the spirit of stealing, but you have stopped it. But in the dream, you find yourself stealing. It is the same hodge that would. You have stopped smoking, but you have the hodge. But one day you confine yourself in the dream, smoking. When you wake up, you say, I've stopped smoking. Why am I smoking in the dream? That means you need deliverance. So let me take you once again. You have the power on your own to stop smoking your bad habit. You can say, no, this thing, I will not lie again. I will not lie again. No, I used to lie, but now I will not lie. And you will stop. You will not lie. But each time, occasionally, that spirit of lying will torment you. Mm, no, 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 no. I said, I will not lie. I will not lie. No, no, I will not lie. Why? You will even slap your, you hit your mouth. I've seen people be standing somewhere and Later, I went back to say, why are you beating your mouth? I said, I wanted to lie before, but I, I stopped it. <laughs> you just try yourself, you know. I will not want to talk too much again. I don't want to talk too much because I realized that I talked too much that put me in trouble as a Christian. You have the power to stop, stop it. But the heart to talk too much will stay there. You continue to wrestle and wrestle. This is why sometimes this day is a sickness. Somebody who is very fat can suddenly diminish. It can cause you loneliness, isolation, rejection. When you are battling with something, doctor, they will take you to the hospital. They will not find any sickness. But you know your sickness. What you don't want to do, what you, the, the spirit is still torment you. You are wrestle with what you don't. I mean, you don't want to do. It will cost you, you will not be able to eat. You will not be able to sleep. You know, when you cannot sleep and you cannot eat, what else again? It, it, it turns to sickness. It, turn to, it can turn to any sickness. You keep fighting and fighting. You that very active, they suddenly see you becoming, keep to yourself. Very active woman, active man. Who talk, hey, hey, why you do this? Why you do this? Well, suddenly he keep to himself and herself. You see, going gently is fighting in in her spirit. Is fighting. It's mental torture. So I picked that from the message of her brother. I said the main thing about Christianity. It's not the what we do, 
but the relationship we maintain and that the atmosphere produced by war. So if you say you have maintained a, a kind of relationship, you are a smoker before, I say, I'll stop smoking, I will not smoke again. We want to know by what authority. If it is by authority of God you stop smoking, the hodge of doing it will not be again. But if it by your own authority you stop it, you continue to have hodge. And that hodge is very tormenting. If I'm talking, let me see your hand. That hodge is tell your neighbor, that hodge is very, very tormenting. When something you want to do and you cannot do it, you mean you cannot satisfy yourself. You continue to live on what? Unsatisfactory. Very, very tormenting. I want to talk, but I say no, I will not talk. I have the heart to talk, but I know. It means I'm, I'll, I'll be living under torment. Because I'm not satisfied. I take it again. They say, it's not by power. It's not by my. By my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain, mountain, what is it? Wait, wait, I know you know how to sing. I know you know how to sing it. Good, thank you. What do you understand about mountain? It, this, what I'm talking about is what the Bible refers to as mountain. This mountain has been removed in Jesus' name. This you know your monte? I know my monte. What is your monte? Your monte could be talking too much, lying, stealing, spirits of stealing, love of money. You know your monte. It's not by power. It's not by power. It's not by mind. So if you stop that mountain by your power, the hodge to do it will still be there. And the hodge is very, very well tormenting. It's a burden. You will not be able to pray well. It, it robs your ability to pray. Pray the more. You believe God is not going to answer your prayer. You believe... Oh, in the presence of God, you feel inferior. You say, in the name of Jesus, something will tell you your prayer is not going to answer, my brother. You know what is going on in your heart, which you cannot do. If that mountain has been removed, has been moved, is by power of God. And if that mountain is moved, the hodge of, it, of doing it is gone, is gone. So how do we know if you say, oh, a decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, one, you can take that decision on your own. But if God is involved in your decision, it becomes decision. But you can. This is why people can come and say, okay, altar call. You see people coming out, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Thousands of people come in front of me and say, man of God, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. If thousands of people come out to accept Jesus, 90, 900 of them are self-decision. Only 100. God is involved. And if God is involved in your decision, it becomes a decision. But if God is not involved, you just decide, ah, I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. After you finish accepting it, I give you to the man again, you'll be worse than before. Because Satan will, immediately you leave here, Satan will cross you and say, what are you saying? You say you want to deny me. Tell me you are my friend now. Huh? If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. self-decision
So once again, before I leave you, now our brother says, the main thing about Christianity is not what we do. This is why people, you say, ah, the man is always go to church. He's a elder. You can't find him on Sunday. He's always in the church. But at the end of the day, you may find him in the hair fire. He, he pay tight. He dance in the church. His name is uh, Stephen. It's Joshua. He's baptized. Everything about him is church, church. If you go to his house, Bible, literature, Bible. When he talks to you, yes, Jesus is law. He has nothing to say than the biblical way, scriptural. The main thing about Christianity is not what we do, but what? The relationship we maintain and the atmosphere produced by what? By that relationship. If the relationship you maintain is a genuine one, like I have said now, you have stopped killing, you have stopped destroying, you have stopped uh, stealing, you have stopped telling lies, you have stopped this, you have stopped that. If that is your decision, it will produce atmosphere different atmosphere different from god's atmosphere because you have urge for to do this urge to do all this cannot produce in atmosphere of god this is why we say don't let people deceive you by i have a relationship with god As you see me again in the club i used to come to club house have i accepted jesus as my lord and savior have you been seeing me you say no have you been seeing me in your gathering? We are smoking. Um, no. Have you been seeing me in this place? No. I've been keeping to myself, carry Bible all the time. We say, oh, yes. Atmosphere, the relationship has, this man has kept the relationship. Wonderful. We say, Christian. Don't be too quick to say that. All those things he has stopped doing, he may still be having urge of doing them and this is where god live where hodge also disturbing you is where god live our heart is the communication point contact point that is where hodge well, that is where decision so atmosphere produced by this hodge stop lying stop telling lies, stop hodge stop this stop that but the hodge is still there to do all those things. It cannot produce any better atmosphere, any atmosphere of God. So this decision, if God is involved, you have that inner decision. As God Almighty himself, Jesus Christ, had. If you are blessed with this point I, I raised from Westman's message, let us see your hand. Because if we don't understand, we don't understand this confession. It is when that hodge has gone, you believe, the word believe can be established. With our mouth we confess and with our heart we believe. Are you with me? But many people, they don't understand it. They say, with my mouth, I confess Jesus. With my heart, I believe. So, you confess Jesus. No, I have, I've, today I'm stop smoking. I will stop smoking. If the law is involved in that decision, the hush of smoking is gone, then you believe Jesus. But if your decision is your decision, I've stopped smoking, and you are keep wrestle with that urge. The world believing cannot be established. And the Bible say, not all that confess Jesus, but all that believe. Righteousness is not for all that confess, but for all that believe. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. I can hear you. Righteousness is not for all. 
who confess, but all who believe. Take note of that. So I confess Jesus is my Lord. That does not mean I have the righteousness of Christ in me. Because in that confession I, I made, but I still have urge to serve Satan. To do the will of Satan. The hodge is there. And I keep fighting the hodge of doing the will of Satan. Where it disturbs. This is the heart. Where God live. Faith is not of man flesh. But of man world. Heart. When you say of man spirit me of man heart. Tell your neighbor, faith is not of man's flesh, is not of my mind, but of my heart, my spirit. That is faith. Faith is not of man's flesh, is not of man, I mean mind, but of my man's spirit, man's heart. So therefore, if believing Look, look, there is power in my mouth, in our mouth. The belief in our hearts is released by faith out of our mouth. Tell your neighbor, there is power in our mouth. The belief, that is B E L I E F. The belief in our heart, not in our anywhere, not in our flesh. The belief is not in the flesh, it's not in the mind. The belief in our heart is released by faith out of our mouth. Say it again. There is power in our mouth. The belief in our heart is released by faith. Out of our mouth. I can hear you. Now let's look at this where. Let's analyze this where. The, there is power in our mouth. That is, mean if I say in the name of Jesus, you are free. That is, you can only be free by power of God. That is what they are saying here. Now, if truly there is power in your mouth to say, in the name of Jesus, you are free. If truly there is power, these are the things that is in you. Let's read. The belief in, our, in your heart. There must be a belief in your heart. You must believe. And belief is related to heart. It's living heart. It's of heart. Just as faith of heart of man's spirit that is belief and for the belief to be released the belief in your heart which is in your heart to be released out by faith if your faith is genuine it will release that belief in you i believe this man will be here that's why i say the neighbor doesn't be here the faith in me will release that belief and when it releases the belief the, the power come out of my mouth Now you have seen what you are talking about now, about the word confession. Not everyone that confess Jesus is law. Righteousness is not for everyone that say Jesus is law, but everyone that believe Jesus is law. Because one can confess I'm a pastor, whereas his heart. It's far from. So now, the word heart, the word heart, the word faith, the word believe. They they live in the same apartment. Are you with me? Heart, faith, believe. The same what? The same apartment. 
You know, let me give you. You have, you have, I mean, I mean, Roman parlor, that is a parlor and a room. You have to enter the parlor where people will meet you with your decoration bed, I mean, your decoration, the television, sit down, but your bedroom is somewhere. So now, when confession is living in, is in the city room here, why faith, heart, and what? Faith, heart, and belief are inside the city room. Inna. They are inside the city room, lying on the bed. When the bed is full, there is no more space. You know, if you have a visitor, and the bed can only contain three people, if four people come to your house, you select by their superiority, oh, this is my senior sister, this is my senior brother, this is my cousin. So you people will take city room, you small boy, go and sit on the bed, on the chair. So, and manage the chair. You can sleep on the chair. Sit. So, confession is in the city room there, sitting on the chair, because there is no more space inside the room where bed. The bed can only contain three people. Confession is city room here, sitting on the chair, and it will be there till tomorrow morning. Why the three other, because of their importance, they are inside the bedroom, faith, belief, and heart. Heart means spirit in the word in the Bible. Faith, belief, and heart. When you say heart, you mean spirit. Why confession? So anybody can confess. Anybody can say, even you, if you're a criminal, you can say, yes, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor, whereas it's a criminal. But not anybody can believe Jesus. You must be genuinely before you can, the, Jesus can enter your heart. Before he can make your heart a dwelling place. You, it must be, you must be genuine. And not anyone can have a genuine faith. The power of faith, as we all know, the, the ingredient to, for, of faith, that the, 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 the food of spirit, you must be faithful, you must be kind, you must be this, you must die to have that the faith we are talking about. The finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the, so now you must, these three people that sit, sleep on the bed, you cannot frame it, you cannot, you cannot give, give it, and you cannot, um, you cannot play them. You cannot play God to have all these three. It's not possible. You must be genuine to have the heart of God, the belief we are talking about, and the, 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 what, the faith we are talking about. But this confession, today everybody confess Jesus is Lord. But how many of them really believe Jesus in their heart? How many, how many of them have the faith we are talking about? The faith that moved Monte. But everybody confess Jesus? So the three are on the bed, in the bedroom. Why the odd only one sitting in the wall? Which anybody can, can frame. To her. So I want to leave you here. Thank you.